What's up? So I tested every SEO tool, so you don't have to, and all of them suck. And so I'm going to tell you why they suck, and then I'm going to suggest some free tools you can use instead. Okay, I won't sell you a single thing. And so let's start with the most famous one, which is the one I use on a daily basis, by the way, called Ahrefs. Now, reason why it sucks, and again, granted, I use it every single day. But the two of the reasons why it sucks is they give you a ton of data, but no suggestions of what actually to do with the data. So if you have no idea what to do, well, it's pointless. It just causes analysis paralysis. So I go here into Ahrefs again. I love Ahrefs. I use it on a daily basis to find backlinks, to find uh, pages of premium, key ranks, a bunch of stuff, right? And by the way, traffic is going down because we just rebranded to a new domain. So this, we are now... Our voice with you just three on redirect. So all traffic is coming here now. But again, I use this on a daily basis to look at the competition, what they're doing, what pages they're ranking, what the keywords are, what like finding new opportunities, links, a bunch of stuff, right? Looking at my anchor text, like dilution, distribution, rotation, all this stuff. Thing is that this data is pointless if you have no idea what to do with it. And so that's the main reason why I don't like it. I, I don't like it because people think they need it. But most of you guys will be okay with just Google Search Console, which again, I'll suggest it in, in the free tools down below. That's the first thing. And again, it's amazing for link audits and keyword discovery, but gives you nothing when it comes to content creation or on page optimization. So, you know, looking at this, okay, I need to build more links. How do I build the links? You know you're ranking third, you wanna rank first. Okay, great, how do I rank first? So they don't give you tangible tips. Again, this is their business model. They're an, they're an analytics tool, which is great. Again, I use it every single day. But I know what to do with this data. Most of you guys don't. And so this is why it sucks. It sucks because for a lot of people, they are not good enough in the SEO realm to take in that data, analyze it in their brain, rationalize what to do with it, and actually build out and implement a plan. So that's why it sucks. Second tool, a very well-known one as well, uh, which suffers from the same thing, is SEMrush or SEMrush. Um, first things first is it tries to be everything. It does SEO, PPC, social content, rank tracking. It does a bunch of stuff, but it doesn't go deep. So Ahrefs is great because it goes deep into like SEO. SEMrush tries to do everything. And again, because it tries to do everything, it doesn't do anything great. That's why I use Ahrefs and not SEMrush. And again, it gives you tons of tools, reports, fancy, fancy graphics, fancy things, which again, if you have no idea like what to do with that data or even what it means, it's pointless. And I think I know big companies love to see like these charts, graphs go up, graphs go down. Doesn't mean a thing. Honestly, like even age refs, right? If you see like traffic going up, keywords going up, like this doesn't mean you're making more money, right? This doesn't mean we're making more money. You could have traffic from like low buying, uh, low purchase in 10 countries, or low buying in 10 countries. You could be ranking for irrelevant keywords. You could be ranking from keywords that like are super top of the funnel, keywords that don't convert people into customers. I mean, all these numbers right here, all this is vanity. All these are vanity metrics. The only non-vanity metric is money. And the only way you make money is to take vanity metrics, analyze them and rationalize and build out a plan based on these metrics to make you more money. And so again, SEMrush suffers from the same thing. All these fancy reports, which like big companies love and all these people love, until they realize, well, we're paying all this money to the people using the tool and the tool, but we're not seeing any results. Because again, the people using the tool have no idea what they're doing. And so Ahrefs and SEMrush suffer from the same issue, which is lots of data, but no tangible tips. Again, if you're someone like myself, if you know SEO, these tools are great. But most of you guys watching this, unfortunately, I mean, I'm trying my best, <laughs> are not good enough at SEO yet, yet. We're, we're working on that, okay? Third one is one that's been around for a long, long time, which I'm not, I don't know if you know it or not, but it's called Moz. Issue is, it looks like it's stuck in 2020, 2012. Uh, the UI, the UX is awful, uh, and it just f feels, feels outdated, okay? It feels outdated, their metrics feel outdated, while well, Ahrefs has UR and DR, which, again, granted, they can easily be manipulated, okay? Any metric can be manipula manipulated, but Moz's ones, uh, Ahrefs ones, feel like there's a higher correlation between these made-up metrics in real life, Moz's ones, like, no, at least from, from my, my experience, okay? And also a big thing, at least when comparing to Ahrefs, their backlink, backlinking data, it's, it's not, not, that, not, not good, not good in comparison to Ahrefs. Like here, I go to the backlinks, you can see properly, I can, like, the data here feels much, much more valuable, data in Ahrefs, than in uh, this Moz's tool, which, and honestly, like, outdated UI, outdated UX, and outdated like data. I don't like it at all. And again, all these suffer from the same issues. And these are like the most known SEO tools out there. 
but they suffer from the same issue. I have no idea what to do with this data, okay? It sucks. And again, it's their business model. I mean, I'm not dicing them. It's their business model. I, again, I'm a power user of Ahrefs. I love it. But most people have no idea what to do with it. And the last one uh, is called uh, Surfer. Now, this, out of these tools, is the only one that actually has actionables. While these ones just give you data and say, hey, listen, we give you the data, you choose what to do with it. Surfer has something where you can actually produce something, okay? In this case, produce content. Surfer SEO. The issue with this is that they have this um, uh, SEO score, okay? When you log into their dashboard, again, their dashboard is similar to ours, Arvo, but we purposely did not build an SEO score in. So when you generate an article with Arvo or when you, like, create content when, when, or when you paste your content here with Arvo, right, because you can use it to generate content or you can just put in here your content, right? Let me just go here and say, like, we, we don't have a score. Like, we used to have, like, a score here, but we removed it. Because having a score, like, having, like, a 90 score here, uh, people think that if they have 100, they'll rank first, right? It, it, it does not work like that. A score is a bad thing for people. And I actually, I actually met the guy uh, who advised them not to do the SEO score. Because SEO scores are BS, right? Just like all these metrics, this is all BS. I mean, there's, there's some correlation with real life, okay? But it's all BS. If you go on Fiverr, you can pay someone 20 bucks to increase this to 70, right? Does this mean that the domain is better? No. It just, means it's just, it just means that someone did some black hat stuff to increase the number. Number, hi number higher doesn't mean more success or more money in the bank, okay? All these can be manipulated. These are all vanity metrics. Yes, there's some truth to it, right? But you have to know how to analyze the data. But going back here, like SEO scores are RBS, right? Uh, and chasing surfers 90 plus SEO score often leads to keyword stuffing, right? Which, I mean, doesn't, just because the number goes up doesn't mean you're going to be ranking first. And so we were, we were, we had, I mean, we even added like as, as a beta here the score, but we just removed it because we started seeing people saying, hey, my, my score is 100. Why am, I, why am I not ranking first? Well, because SEO isn't just about content, it's about backlinks, it's about technical SEO, like site speed, if your site is slow, never gonna rank, schema market, building proper backlinks, which I talk about on this channel, by the way. So this is not good, right? Even though Surfer is good, right? They allow you to produce content. Rely, having to rely on the score doesn't make any sense. Uh, and then there's too much focus on, on correlation, not causation. So they tell you uh, what, your, what the top ranking competitor pages are doing, but they don't explain why. So you end, up, you end up copying competitors without knowing what really works. For example, I'll give you an example here with our own business. So we used to have this, and I think we still do. We have this page. Let me see if already translated here because we, can, we, we did a rebrand. We have this page on our site that gets a ton of traffic. Let me see here. Uh, da, 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 open AI, AI, let me see here, open. So this page right here. Again, it's, it's still at 12 because, again, we're doing the, we did the redirect and Ahrefs hasn't picked up on it yet. But regardless, this page gets a ton of traffic, right? Uh, but, again, just because it gets a ton of traffic, again, looking at Surfer, hey, listen, copy this page because they get a ton of traffic doesn't mean you're going to make more money. If Surfer told you to copy this page because it's the page that gets the most traffic on the, let's say you're, you're a competitor of Arvo, okay? You are a competitor of Arvo, you want to make more money. S Surfer would suggest, okay, make a content like this. Thing is that this page makes us literally zero dollars. Even though it gets a ton of traffic, it makes zero dollars because people searching for the keywords this page is relevant for, revenue statistics for OpenAI, are not interested in the closest to buying a tool like ours. So it is irrelevant traffic. People aren't looking to buy an AI SEO agent tool that does your SEO for you or produces content for your build links. They're not, right? So this, it, it, this you have to understand how, how to take data and apply it to your business. Because again, this page makes it zero dollars. And if you were to be posting and creating a page like this to try and outrank us, you're gonna, you're gonna have a lot of work and you're just gonna be wasting time and money. Okay, so it's important to have this critical thinking. That's why on this channel, I try to, try to, I try to make you in, enter my brain to understand why I do things, okay? Hopefully this is making sense. Um, and lastly, still in, in Surfer, and again, I'm going to give you some tips on the free tools you can use, uh, is the third thing is uh, uh, UX, I think, in my opinion, the user experience pushes you the wrong priority. So the UI encourages to obsess over word counts, term usages, and not actually solving the intent, right? The goal of Google, how you rank on Google, how you rank on ChatGPT, how you rank on all these engines, which again, I made videos on this on the channel, is by satisfying the user search intent. If someone searches for a keyword, the page who ranks higher is the page or the site or whatever that, satis that best satisfies the user's search intent. It's basically it. No need to obsess over keywords here, keywords there, whatever. No. 
just write the best content possible. And their UX, in my opinion, makes you focus on things that are pointless. Okay, it is what it is. They're super successful. All kudos to them. Just my opinion. Okay, so what now? What now? What, what now? You, okay, these are great tools, but what now? What do you use then that's free? Well, a couple things. First thing is Google Search Console. People think that because there's Ahrefs and there's SEMrush and there's all these mega powerful tools that Google Search Console isn't powerful. Well, it is very powerful. Every single thing that Ahrefs gives you, I mean, not really the backlink data, most things that, are, that you need to go with, uh, Google Search Console gives you for free, right? It gives you your page traffic, your page sessions, the keywords you rank for, gives you a ton of data. Good thing about Ahrefs is that you can put a competitor's, back, a competitor's domain here and you can track their stuff. In Google Search Console, you can't, okay? You can, in Search Console, you can only track your, the, the stuff you own. But it, it's, it's so good. Google Search Console is, is so good, you don't need anything else if you're just starting out. You can clearly see the keyword rankings like improving as you do your work, the impressions moving up, the, the, the clicks moving up, so you don't need to pay for these expensive tools. This one works great, and it gives you a ton of data, which is what you need. And again, of course, I mean, you need to be able to take the data and do proper analysis to the data, and then dial up a plan to move from the data to actual tangible action, okay? Second thing is Google Keyword Planner, right? No need to use expensive tools like Ahrefs for keyword search, like Ahrefs, yes, you can use it for defining keywords. Arvo as well, you can use it to find keywords, but they're expensive, okay? I mean, Arvo is quite cheap, but these are expensive. Google Search Console, Google, excuse, Google Keyword Planner is a free tool that gives you keywords and their search volume directly from Google's data for free. I'll even up, open it up here, Google Keyword Planner. Let's open it up right here. There you go. For example, AI Writer. Boom. Get started. Right. This will give you a bunch of keywords. So in this case, it gives you this keyword. Uh, this is the search volume for. You can select the language. You can select the country. Right. This is in Portugal because I'm based in Portugal right now. You can. I mean, you can find forecasts. This gives you all the data you need. Okay. And it's 100% free. Finding keywords, finding opportunities. Right. All the stuff you have is here. And uh, third is a brain. Right. You need to be able to. Choose the right keywords, and I talked about this extensively, going, over, going for keywords, not for their search volume, but for their buying intent. Uh, develop a proper SEO strategy, which, by the way, I, I've outlined here multiple times on this channel. I think I, if you just go to the channel and search up SaaS, I reveal my exact SaaS, my business, which is a software as a service business, SEO strategy. So you can go watch that if you want to steal uh, my strategy. And then focus on writing blog posts, creating feature pages, news pages, optimizing technical SEO, all the stuff that I talk here about on the channel. Okay, don't overcomplicate things, but you need a brain to be able to gear up a strategy and actually implement that strategy, right? And fourth, uh, use AI, right? I don't care if you use my software or not, just use some AI software. Because if you don't use AI, you're just gonna get left behind. And don't think AI is a magic tool, right? This isn't a magic, anyone can write this. Anyone can write a blog post with links, put images, put in videos, right? But it, what AI does, you can all do. AI isn't the magic tool. AI does every single thing you can just way faster. For example, for this, right, you could write this. Or you can just use AI to just write the blog post, it automatically connects with your site and adds links to your internal pages, so it automatically builds up your internal linking structure, automatically adds the images, automatically adds videos on YouTube, so it goes on YouTube and finds, okay, what's the most relevant video for this article? Puts it in here, then you can speak with it back and forth like ChatGPT, say, hey, change the header, it's too complex. I mean, you can speak and say, hey, add a link to my product, whatever. You can speak back and forth and change things around. You can select part of the article and say, add links, add keywords, a rewrite, make it longer, make it shorter, make a table, whatever, right? All the stuff you can do manually, but why would you? You could just use AI just to do it 100% faster for you. And you can just hit here and say publish article to your site, and the article will be going straight to your site without you having to log into your CMS. Again, all stuff you can do manually, just takes a ton of time. For example, stuff like this, the, the site optimizer, these are little, like little AI agents that crawl your site's pages, right? And then if you wanna do technical SEO, you can with this. Right, for example, for internal links, it goes and analyzes all the pages on your site, all the pages, right, and finds, okay, I'm gonna link for this one to this one, for this one to this one, for this one to this one, and here's why. So for example, it says right here, it's Vasco, I think you should link this page right here to this one using this anchor text, and here's why, right? And then you can hit apply, and the AI will automatically log in into your CMS and create the internal linking like that. So can you do this manually? Of course you can. This is not magic, you can do all this manually. It just takes you a ton of time. Right, having a proper internal linking structure is key for SEO. And with this, right, the AI finds the most relevant pages to link out to like, internally and does them for you automatically and gives you the reasoning why it's doing it, which I think it's super important. We could have just removed this, but I think it's very important we add it, have it here to explain to you why the AI is doing this reasoning. And you can agree or decline. If you decline, you won't do it. If you apply, the AI will automatically do the internal linking. Do the schema as well, optimize your meta tags and meta tiles. There's, there's a bunch of stuff, which again, you can do all this manually, but I think you should be using AI because it just does a ton of it faster for you. Also, 
to rank on LLMs, to rank on ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok, it's very important that you take your site's content and syndicate it to your LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and this is all going to be picked up by LLMs. Again, I made a ton of videos on this. I'll leave it on the description. But th all this level of automation that AI gives you is key to just do things faster. And if you're not using it, well, your competitors will, and you're just going to get like outperformed. So use AI if you use Arvo, that's great. If not, I mean, I'm sure there's more tools out there. Um, I just think ours is better. Again, I'm 100% biased. So yeah, that's it. Oh, and a bit of a surprise here. I didn't even know I had this here. Uh, everyone who buys a yearly subscription with the coupon Vasco gets two 45-minute consulting call sessions included. So if you go to Arvo, if you want to give it a go, right, if you buy a yearly plan, any yearly plan, doesn't matter which one it is, it is I'll throw in two 45-minute consulting calls with me where I can go over your site, your business, your SEO, give you recommendations. I usually charge $150 for each. So you're getting a, basically, you're getting $300 value off of these uh, calls. And by the way, I'll, I'll put a time limit. So if you're watching this six months from now, this won't be valid anymore. If you're watching this and it, it hasn't passed six months since the day that I've published this, well, if you just use the coupon code VASCO at checkout, V-A-S-C-O, you get two 45 minute consulting calls included with myself, which you can do throughout like one or two months as you wish. And so yeah, that's it. That's basically what I wanted to cover right here. Again, no shade to all these tools. They're great. I use them daily. I mean, I use Ahrefs daily. I don't use SMrush because just, just, they just focus on too much things. Uh, Moz is super outdated. Surfer, I don't like the BS score. I think it gives you the wrong impression. I think it tells you, hey, if you have the 100% score, you're gonna rank first. Even if it tells you it doesn't, people think about it. A score is a bad thing. And again, I said, I met the guy who advised them not to do it. They still did it. I mean, it is what it is. No shade. We actually implemented it as well, as I said before, but we rolled it back because people are just having a hard time and we wanna make sure people succeed. And having people rely on a score isn't the best way to help them succeed. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. You can go watch this one right here, which is also pretty cool. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.